for them, if they need just need to see you for the video call, then they don't need to log in. They can just do the walk uh, walking. So let's click on the enter waiting room. Okay. So for the enter waiting room for the video visit, uh, they have an, uh, a few options. So they can enter waiting room as guest. So this is kind of like a walk-in. They don't need to create an account. They don't need to sign up with VC, just walk in. Or they can sign in with your, their Google account or they can sign up with their email addresses here. So for this uh, workflow, I will just go with the uh, guest walk-in workflow. Okay, so once I click on that, it shows me the uh, very simple intake form. Just you know, type in first name, last name, reason for visit. And then if I wanna upload any file, now let me type here. Okay, I will go into as a patient Sam Smith and headache. And here I can upload any document or images. So I'll do, okay, I'll choose my recent brain scan. Okay. And then I have to click, uh, you know, give my consent to participate in this telehealth consultation. So if they click on this, they will see all the terms and services here. And I just come back here. And then they just need to click continue. So in the basic VC clinic, this is the default uh, intake form. Uh, this is a very simple version. And then if you would like to customize your intake form, you know, with additional questionnaire, or if you don't need these extra field, you can remove that. Please definitely uh, reach out to us and then we can customize the intake form for you. Uh, of course, there is an uh, add-on fees for that. And same thing for the consent form. If you would like to uh, customize your consent form from your clinic or from your organization, let us know too. We can customize that. All right. So I'm not going to uh, go into the um, uh, waiting room. So for the patient, if they click continue, their video will launch. I will not do that because uh, you know, I'm using my same computer as a patient and provider. So I don't want to confuse my computer. All right, so now I see Anne in my waiting room. So you can see here there are four stages. So the first one is ready for visit, meaning that you know patient is ready. So you know they have like filled the intake form and then they already launched their video window. So that's why they are under the ready for visit. So if you see people under getting ready, it means that they are still you know filling out the intake form. They are still trying to launch their video window. They're not ready yet. And then of course in progress stage, you know uh, once you start the video visit, the patient will move on to the in progress stage. And the recent is uh, the recently the recent uh, conversation. Okay, so for here, I can see the, uh, my client's name, uh, reason for visit, and then which waiting room she's coming from. Uh, this is uh, important for me because, you know, as a provider, uh, sometimes I work for multiple clinics. So I need to know, uh, you know, this patient is coming from like this waiting room. And I can also see the photo that she uploaded. So I can click on that. I can take a look at the picture and then come back here, right? And then I can see her status, she's online. So it means that, you know, she has launched her video window and I can see her wait time here as well. All right, okay, now I'm gonna click on the expand arrow. Okay, so before I, you know, make a video call, if I'm running late and then I can start with the chat message. So I can send a chat message to Anne. Hi Anne, you know, I'm running late for five minutes. So you can quickly engage with your patient and then to let them know so that you know they know that they are in the right place uh, in the waiting room. And then once you're ready, you can click on the uh, video call button. Just click on that. And then you got two options. The first one is the easiest one because it's joined on the web and then you can see like no download required and then like no installation. And then the other one is uh, you need to download the app, uh, VC Messenger app, uh, which is a video calling software app. So, you know, what's the difference between these two options? The first one is of course the easier choice, you know, it's just a uh, web browser calling, no download. But uh, sometimes like, you know, during this uh, crisis, sometimes we got the, uh, you know, server overload and then, you know, we need to turn off the uh, web browser calling to save the uh, server bandwidth. So in that case, you can still go ahead with the VC Messenger video calling app. 
So this is kind of like your uh, second choice or you know, like a uh, backup plan, if just in case if the web browser is not available. I will show you both options, but uh, let me start with the uh, web calling. So let me click on join on the web. Right, so it's trying to launch the video. Uh, before I allow my camera, I need to mute my video on go to webinar because I only have one webcam on my computer. Right, now after that, I will allow my devices in VC. Okay, all right, now I can see myself and I can see Anne. All right, great. Okay, so once you're in the call and if you need to invite a guest, uh, let's say, uh, you know, a client's family members or a translator or your coworker to join the call, then you can definitely do that uh, by clicking on this button. So if you click on this, you will see invite guest to the meeting. Uh, so you can copy this instruction and then email it to uh, to a guest so they can join this uh, particular meeting. But the difference here is that you see the join call link. This is a one time link because this is a very specific like you know ongoing session. So they need to join this one after this meeting is done. They cannot click on this link anymore. The link will not be uh, valid anymore. So please keep in uh, keep in mind that you know the link for the guest is one time thing, and also same thing for the uh, the telephone number and then the pin number is a one time use. All right, so don't confuse with the link that you send to your patient, which is a permanent thing that they can bookmark it, but the link to the guest is a one time use. Okay, great. Okay, and I'm gonna hang up on you. Thank you. All right, so once you hang up on a patient, uh, you will see the message. Do you want to check out patient? Do you want to keep patient or cancel this visit? So, you know, uh, I need to check out patient for this scenario so that the patient will not be in the waiting room anymore. Uh, and then uh, I need to complete this visit. So I will have the record of having this visit. So if you want to keep patient in the waiting room, you can choose that option. Then patient will be in the waiting room just in case if you need to call the patient back, you know, to make a follow up appointment or if you need to step out your office, you know, for just a few seconds and then come back and then call the patient. But in that case, please let the patient know that, you know, you are hang up on the patient like temporarily and then you will call them back so that they will still have their local video window open up and then they don't, you know, close out their web browser. OK. And if you cancel the visit, then the visit uh, will not be recorded in your uh, call log. Okay, so for now, I'll choose checkout patient. Right, and then let me go back to my dashboard. Once I check out the patient, as you can see here, and it's not in my waiting room anymore because I check out the patient and I completed the visit. 